What's up, yo? Been a while. It is good to be back. Happy to be back on here. So there's been this tool that I really like to use in a when it comes to beat production. Um, I've been kind of on and off with it. I feel like I don't know. Like I, I I'm I'm a very inspirational based creator. So when I get inspired, then I like to create and whatnot. Um, and sometimes you know arcade hits the spot for me, and sometimes it doesn't. So I might go like a month or two without it then get it for like another month to like really freshen some things up and whatnot and get a little re-inspired and then let go of it again. But today we're going to be working with Arcade in Mixcraft Pro Studio 10. Now we got this uh, instrument track. We're going to pull this up. I have it in my favorites. Got Arcade. Got Omnisphere in there too, which is also another really good one that not to make a video on. I think I, think I did a little video on it, but not much. I'll have to do a better one. All right, here's Arcade, everybody. You can, this is the home screen. You know, it's kind of promoting new little packs that have came out, and then you got, you know, them labeled down here. Melody writing, chill vibes, blah, blah. Or you can come over here where it says lines, and it'll just take you straight to the packs. You can just go in like this. But I'm going to go into Anthem Beats for this particular loop because... This pack has fire drum sounds. Oh, gotta change the key down here too, by the way. And it'll play everything in key. We'll open this one up and have some fun with it and fiddle around. And the cool part is like you can always change change the sounds. So also another shout out to Acoustica because they made the piano roll editor a lot more sleek and and a lot more usable. But anyways, we'll pull this up. I don't have like a beat pad or anything, so I just go into the the piano roll. Start down here at C3. Got the kick. All right. Drag that all the way out. And then you could play it like this. And with these, there's going to be. Different. Every key has a different, different sound on it. Ooh. But what I do to make it easier, instead of like making countless arcade tracks for every sound, I do this, go down to mix to new audio track now that I have the kick that I want. And it'll mix it down into an audio track. And that way you're not, you know, making your computer do more work than what it needs to by having multiple arcade tracks up and having to VST open on every single track that would, would just be unnecessary overload for your PC. So, okay, we got a kick now. Do that, and then let's play. Where are the hats? I just want to hear them together. I have to beef up that kick a little bit. Yeah, we'll do both those together, the snare and the clap. Make it a little bit more powerful. Okay. Actually, I got a better idea for... um. Some better sounding hats, so we'll deal with the hats later. Let's go up here. Hey. 
Hell yeah, that bass is on point. Yep. Yep. I like that. I like that. Hell yeah. Okay. Then we'll tighten that up. Get that all looped nicely. Okay. Then back over here. That was D4. So simple right there. Okay. So we got the bass. We'll do this little flute thingy majigger. Then I'm gonna go into a different pack. Get some other things. I'm telling you, the arcade is is a great spot to just crank out beats. And also with this stuff. Come on, open up. Well, you know, I mean, you can go like you can go into these sounds and edit them even more and just really go ape shit if you wanted to, which also makes arcade great. Ooh, right off the bat. I like that. I like that right off the bat. We cooking. We are cooking, cooking so much, cooking so much. Oh, yeah. Okay. Mm. Mm, yeah, this is going to have some cool sounds. Yes, it is. Okay. Let's go down here. Ooh. Eh, maybe not. Maybe not. I don't know how I feel about that. Let's mute the the flute whistle thingy. I like it, but it, it it's a little too much. I think that could sound dope. Okay, hold on. Let's mix that down. I'm going to fiddle with that. I think that can sound hella dope. So, me want, and me likey, and me want, and me will keep, and me will manipulate to my liking. Okay. So, let's see. Okay. All right. Well, let's manipulate this. I'm gonna chop off some high end and low end here.
I like that so far. I want to kind of sit underneath and kind of give it that feeling like it, it's sh like shredding underneath everything else, kind of like tearing at it. Now, give me some of that old school verb, bro. Yes. Sorry, I'm kind of quiet. I'm, I'm wanting this to fit. not bad the reverb was not working at all made it way worse okay i would do want to spread it out more All right, let's see what else there is, because I am getting super zoned into that. Okay. Okay. Let's try something else here. Drip can be pretty cool. Some of it's kind of corny, though. Honestly. Let's try it. Why not? Okay. Hmm. Oh. I mean, it's not fire like all together. It really doesn't sound that great all together yet. But this little thing. Oh, yeah. Digging that. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Whoa. Getting distracted here. Okay. So. Oh, 
See, sometimes you just gotta look around, yo. That one's even more sick than the other one. Not gonna lie, not gonna lie. Let's see, now I'm getting excited. But you know, you just you just keep going until it works. Not nope, too much. But see, all these don't have to be playing together. We can orchestrate them and produce them to where there's different sounds happening on different parts, you know, like the more quick violin sound and stuff could be like the hook or like the, the, the pre hook or whatever. Then we'll use all the calm, more simplified stuff, and, you know, let it kind of break down into that for the verses. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, see, it super sick. We can still use that somewhere. Tell me, you can you can really go ham on arcade. You can build the shit out of beats, dude. Whoa, what's that? Hey, excuse me. Whoa. We better save this. I don't know why my system percent is up so high, but that is not good. Banger for the tube. So that is the the first half of this video I'm releasing. If you want to see this through all the way to the end with me, then be sure to hit that subscribe button, smash the like button on this video, and I will upload part number two shortly. I don't know if it'll be today. We'll see. We'll we'll see how how well this one's received first. Then we'll go into part two of this continuing until we got a, a proper banger. And then maybe I'll let one of y'all have it.